Hello, this is Lindsay, and welcome back to my channel, and Merry Christmas. We're in the month of December. I am slowly preparing for Christmas and enjoying every second of it. Um, let me know in the comments below what some of your favorite holiday traditions are. I know this journal does not look like a Christmas journal, but this is a Christmas tip video for making an easy Christmas present. So this is one of my $10 junk journals. They're $10.99 my, in my shop. And you pretty much get a completed journal. The cover is decorated. You get a front pocket, um, 60 blank pages, and then something in the back, like a library card or something like that. Super simple. It literally took me 20 minutes about or less to make. And so here's my tip on how to do these quickly and that is to use pre-collaged items so if you're going to be making a whole bunch of christmas gifts and you want to make these blank journals they're wonderful to give to anybody because they can totally make them uh their own and they can journal and add things and everything like that wonderful wonderful gifts so what i've used here or some pre-collaged ephemera pieces from Junk Journal Treasures. And definitely check out Joanne's shop and her new YouTube channel. Her links are down below. If you go below where it says other shops that I recommend, you'll see Junk Journal Treasures and then also her new YouTube link. So go over there and subscribe. She's done a few videos already and I'm blown away by how amazing they are, even though she's new. I was not anywhere near as good or as talented as she is when I started. So I'm expecting amazing things from her. You won't want to miss it. And her Etsy shop, amazing pieces. I love everything that I get from her. So this tag she made, it was pre-made, pre-inked, pre-collaged. So when I chose this, this is just a 12 by 12 piece that I cut down. I did not even line it. I just stitched around the edge. You could just ink around the edge and totally skip the stitching part if you do not have a sewing machine or if you're not comfortable with your sewing machine. So she, this is one of her pre-done pieces. So all I did was layer a piece of fabric, a little piece of trim, and then this, I stitched them together, glued it on, and added a flower. That's all I did. It took me like two minutes. It was like, it was super, super fast. And then on the inside, to make this cute little tuck spot to hold this um, little page that somebody could write, you know, about me or whatever, this is another one of her pieces and I just glued it on and it is beautiful. It coordinates gorgeously. So there was just a super, super simple tip. I've used Baker's twine to stitch in one signature, just some book pages and scrapbook pages and cardstock and green dyed pages, but you could just use lined paper or any coffee dyed paper, anything you have. Um, so that is my tip. Instead of spending a whole bunch of time trying to design a perfect cover, go over to Junk Journal Treasures, order some of her ephemera, and put that on your Christmas journal. You will not be disappointed in the quality or the beauty of her work. And if you don't have the time or money to order from her, then you can use maybe some pre-collaged pieces that you have already made or that you've purchased from another shop or, you know, take, give yourself a, an, a, like one or two hours to make several different pieces of ephemera. And then the next couple days, you can just add them to the covers, super easy, ready made Christmas gifts, but they are, so special because they're handmade and I love adding pieces from other shops into my work because I think that it is the beautiful um just showcase of what it means to be an artist and be a part of the community it's my work uh partnered together with others work to create a new piece that would never have existed unless the, these two artists Joanne and myself worked together so thank you all for watching this quick little video let me know down below your favorite quick holiday gifts and handmade gifts and what you like to make quickly and um, maybe you'll inspire me. I've been in the inspiration mood. Other people have been inspiring me to try new things. So I'll see you all in the next video.